Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube series with Amori. In case you happen to be new here, my name is Tragic, aka Tragic on Twitch. And I am super excited to have you here. Also, that is my dog Chaos in the background whose tail you can see. In case you haven't seen parts 1 through 17 of my series with Amori, I highly recommend you go back and watch them, otherwise you're going to be very confused. Also, please consider tapping this little like, subscribe, and notification buttons on my channel. I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, I am so stoked to get back to Amori, so I am going to go ahead and dive right back into the game. Hi, y'all! I'm over here now. <laughs> Uh, I do want to give a brief explanation so y'all understand why I've been moving things around so much. Uh, but long story short, I really was just trying to find a way to show the game full screen and also show y'all the Steve achievements that have been popping up, but it ultimately just turned out to be too much of a hassle. So I put things back the way that I did. I also added a new background that I thought would be cool, uh, but d please give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think of the new setup and how things are going, but this is how I plan to, to record and and show stuff moving forward. But I know that's not why y'all are here. So let me go ahead and pull up the game. Wait, I don't have four, do I? No, no, sorry. For a second, I was afraid that maybe I had four safe files. Okay, so I do remember where we ended off last time. We needed to get flowers for Hero and Kel's mom, I believe, to make things up to her for what happened. But um, I already had flowers in my inventory, right? And they were not happy with those, which I was not happy about. I don't even know where they went. Yeah, flowers for important people, but my flowers aren't good enough. Whatever. So we are, wait, did we already do this? We already played with Hector, right? Never mind. okay. I was excited because it was sparkly. So let's go get flowers, I guess. For some reason, I felt like there was something else I really wanted to do. Um, I, th I think part of me actually regretted not going back to see if we could talk to Basil after we brought him home. So I'm going to see if that's a possibility. Also, I really wanted that pet rock, but I think I have to waste my money now on new flowers. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if we're able to talk to Basil or not. Yeah, yeah, because we dropped him off and then I just left. taking care of Basil for two years already, but I barely know anything about him. I wish he would open up about himself more. I just want to help. Okay, so this is not his mom. I've also been wondering that. I keep going back and forth. Like, I can't remember who this is. Is this Basil's mom? Is this somebody else? It seems like she's a caretaker. So Basil lives with his grandma, and then they have a care- <gasps> the, 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 the light bulb! My dog just looked at me like, <laughs> why did you gasp? That looks like the, the bulb in white space! Was that a coincidence? I don't know. Oh, Sunny, there's no way out of this, is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. I don't like that. Does he say anything different? No. There's no way out of this. There's something, that from what we keep seeing throughout the game and the way Basil responds, and last time Aubrey even said something like, how dare you show your face to me after what you did? There's something going on with with Basil that is much deeper to the story, I think, than than other people's involvement. And, well, and I guess we could have gotten that because he he's disappeared in the other world. Um, but I'm, I'm very curious to know why Basil is so much more important to the story than I realized. Also, I really want money for a pet rock. Still. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. I don't know if we've talked to you before, but I'm actually really enjoying what you just said, so... Okay, that girl is gone, the blue-haired girl that we gave some seashells to. I wonder if that means I missed an opportunity. Are these real people? I knew it. I couldn't, I think that was Mari, Aubrey. I don't really know who that was. Every time I'm, <laughs> I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> I get so confused. Do I have anything to sell? I would like to give you trash. Do I have any? No, I must've sold everything. All right. 
Well, let's go get some new flappers, I guess. Who are you? I'm meeting up with someone, but they're late. Don't tell me I've been stood up. I think I talked to you too. Again, it's hard because I, I'll record a bunch of episodes at once and then not play for like two weeks or more. Um, so then I forget kind of what exactly we did last time. Where do we get the flowers from? Fix it? Fix I? Where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you at? Oops, before I forget, Sunny, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? Nice. Wow. Are we gonna have enough for a pet rock? How many would you like? One. The total will be two dollars, yes. Mom's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off at my place, Sunny. Let's see if we can get some flower. I mean, some pet rock. A pet rock. Aren't they? They're on sale for like 10 bucks, right? You have champs just going on a whim here, but would you be interested in buying off my last pet rock? They go for 25, but you seem like the right guy, so I'll let it go for 10! I'll let it go for 10! We got a pet rock! Excellent. You and your new pet rock are a good match. Take good care of it. You got a pet rock! Whoa, hold on a sec, Sonny. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens that I have mine too! He carries it with him! Right here. Just carrying a rock in your pocket? Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? No. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't, it's really easy to catch on. You'll get it in no time. Now let's clash! Are you ready to clash? What? <gasps> That's Pluto! Is this like rock, paper, scissors? I always use paper. Which one am I? I win. I think. I'm assuming I'm the little rock. Ugh. Rip. Wow, whoa! Yeah, Kel's Pluto has way more than me. That's cheating. He keeps using rock. Does he just do the same one over and over, or was that coincidental? This is three in a row he's just chosen rock. rock that he only chooses rock but my pet rock is choosing paper okay oh shoot I lost I guess I'm pretty rusty all you did was choose the same thing over and over that was like a Tamagotchi with rocks kind of thing I don't know what that was well that's okay you were always the one who was good at video games anyway I guess you're the same old sunny after all I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets team up in battle or clash. Beware your pet rock is a charm. You can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champ lives somewhere around here. But no one knows what they look like. Kind of mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Well, I thought I was going to get an achievement, but that was still a pretty cool little little side thing. I'm quite, uh, I'm quite happy with that. It was neat. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to check out, but I sure am glad we got some free money so I could buy that pet rock. <laughs> I would have never forgiven myself for not being able to do that. <laughs> oh, man. We already hung out with Mikhail and his weird siblings. <laughs> oh, wait. My bad. Wrong house. <laughs> Just walking in the wrong house. Mom, I'm home! Hmm, it looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. That sound good to you? I guess. I wonder if I should have checked the church or something. I feel like we checked there a few times though, a, f a couple videos ago, so. Where are our parents? They've magically disappeared. No, I think they went to hang out with the baby, didn't they? 
Yeah, look at little baby! Little babbers! No, I forgot. Hero's more of a... I imagine him like... <laughs> hey, Mom, I got you some flowers! Because mine weren't good enough. Uh, oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha! Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man! Oh. I'm sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Sunny is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Yeah, that's true. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Sunny. Know that you'll always have a home here. That's sweet. We don't want to see the babbers. Wait, why can't... I can't see the baby! Building blocks. Probably a hand-me-down. Oh, that's cute. Sally's cradle. There's a little plane mobile hanging above it. To the best mom in the entire world, from your son, Hero. Wow. A bunch of books. Most of these are about fishing or golf. I remember already doing something like that earlier. Stuffed animal, probably a hand-me-down. Interesting. Interesting! I just always like to check a mirror when I can. Oh, I can't check it in here? Oh, just kidding. We'll check it at our house. Bum, 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 bum. Ding, ding. It's night time. I kind of want to check place it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Apparently, continue with this cutscene real quick. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Sunny. Okay. I'm gonna save. But I also, I'd like to save a, a fourth file. Um, I like having multiple things to go back to, just in case I miss something. So I have to remember now we're file four. And I want to look around just to see if there's anything else I can check out. Something in me is telling me that maybe there's something else I can see now that it's nighttime. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot. And if there's nothing, then my editor, shout out to Game Tracks, is going to cut it out. So you won't see anything. I don't know what I feel like might be here, but I'm just just gonna see. Just gonna see. It's eerily quiet. There are cats on top of the machines. Look at them. I can't talk to the cats. They're so cute though. I don't know why I'm whispering. Look at all- there's cats everywhere! Meow? I love cats! <laughs> Casey couldn't tell! Man, they're like playing games and stuff! Is this for real? Wowie. The stench of this man- oh yeah, we've talked to this poor guy before. Hey bub, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. I will give you a doll hair. To smelly hobo. Thank you kindly. We did donate to the other one. I don't know what will benefit from that, but... You don't donate to see how you will benefit. You donate because you care. <gasps> Wait, we never went back to see Aubrey! Oh no, what if we could have gone back there and she still would have been there during the daytime? Oh, yikes. I didn't even think about that. Come on, okay. <laughs> um. Well, boo, she's definitely not here now. The symbol of Faraway Town. It's supposed to represent a gateway to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. It's been a long time since you jumped off this statue and fell into this lake. There was water in your head for weeks. And sometimes it feels like some of it is still there. I'm kind of grumpy that I didn't show up here to see if Aubrey was here. A group of pinwheels. Yeah, it's all the pinwheels like we have in our, our little dream memory world. Hmm. I don't know why. 
why, but with it being dark and quiet, the game feels almost more sad than anything. Oh, Hobbies is still open? Well, we're already here. That's cool. I don't know what else we would need in there. Business hours 10 to 2 a.m. Must be 21 years old or, enter, or older to enter after 10 p.m. Nice. Got a party going on? Freaking love these cute little cats bouncing all over the place. I'm curious. Okay, I would like to go to Aubrey's house and the church just to see. I actually might want to go check out my old save. <laughs> um... To see if anything else changes during the day. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that right now or not. You shouldn't disturb others this late at night. Her scooter's there, so. Oh, Aubrey's old blue bike, not her current one. Look at all the cats on the roof! The door is locked. Okay. We got to go talk to Basil, and while I don't think it was, like, that big a thing, it was nice to get his dialogue. I think I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna reload my previous save file, since it's only been a very short period of time, and I'm gonna see if talking to Aubrey does anything, and if not, we're just gonna end up back here. Okay, so we are back, y'all. Um, there are a couple scenes that, uh, very short dialogue that were different that I didn't see the first time we did this. Um, but I basically just did everything over again and saved over our file for. So let's finally go inside and see how Cal and Hero react to being inside the house. Whoa, this place is cleared out, Sonny. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here where we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from that one time I spilled my orange joe. Mari got so mad at me. I've been wondering what that stain was this whole time! I kept wanting to check it out! Well, that's because your cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh yeah, huh. Oh man, it looks like it's getting too dark to go see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. The treehouse. Wait, I have an idea! What if we just stay over for the night? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will be the next time we can spend the night with Sunny like this? I'd love to, but Mom's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna wash dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so it'll only be a walk away. <laughs> Nobody asked us, but, but uh, Sunny probably doesn't mind, right? I don't think anything new has popped up in here. Our knife is either... Is our knife in our inventory? I don't know. We don't need to check right now. Well, I, ex I, I hit the wrong button, so let's go ahead and check! Um... Nope. Yeah, we, we our knife got taken away. Our knife is a goner. Nope, can't go outside. Fireplace. There are nails stuck between the bricks. Nothing secret in the fireplace. Ah, I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left, and the piano room was to the right. I wonder if the piano is still there. I'll go on ahead and see. <gasps> I've been wondering why... The, I, I swear there was a door here at some point, and now there's no door. Like, I, I feel like we were able to see it in something. Um, and then he even says there was a closet to the left. I wonder if this is me emotional. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. I'm looking up, but like I'm like processing this. I don't I don't know what it is about these past couple episodes just they feel more emotional. Show off. Haha, <laughs> I guess I still got it. 
Hey, Sunny, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was a song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? I don't know, but I, I kind of regret- I didn't mean- I was trying to talk to Hero! I didn't mean to- I was just- Man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. So where should we sleep, Sunny? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Cal, wait for me. I'm a little upset I didn't immediately talk to Hero. But I don't know that it would have been any different, really. I hear slight piano music. This is way in the library that in the other world, this was the exact like room, wasn't it? A grand piano. The word Amori is etched across the center. Maybe that was the name of the song. One of two old grandfather clocks, yep. I think the name of the song is Amori. This is the title screen music. I'm not going to read the note, but I do want to look in the mirror. Just us. Well, maybe our little demons aren't following us anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I want to save another file in case I... <laughs> was supposed to talk to Hero for that song, but I can only save so many. I'm just gonna overwrite this one. Hmm. Aww! Hey, Sonny, we built a bed for it. I hope you don't mind. This was all Cal's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Hero, Sonny and I got you a gift. Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. Oh yeah, yeah! It's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook! Do you remember this? Of course I do! Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook! Seems so silly now. Oh, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, Hero. Uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But, you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So like, why not? I don't think it works that way, Kel. My fake snoring. <laughs> he fell asleep. He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sunny. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. But it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here, too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon, too. Good night, Sunny. I'll talk to you in the morning. Is he sleeping? Hero is sleeping soundly. I want to check the piano just one more time, just to see if anything's different. You never know. No, he says no. Okay. But we can go in here, but nothing's different here. Still no knife. Nothing different there. Oh! <gasps> 
Did you see it? Did you see it? It was in the mirror. It was in the mirror. I swear I saw it. That was it was really quick, but I swear it was or in, it was in the door. It was like back there. It, yes, it was in the mirror against the door. It was hard to see. You had to really look. I think I don't. I don't think I imagined that. I wish I could get it to show again. Darn it! I put I I clicked too fast and it was gone. Okay, I know it was there. I'm gonna go back and watch this, and I know it was there. Oh, that scared me. I thought something was gonna happen. All right, I guess we're going to bed. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes, I would. I can't tell if this is cute or creepy. What? It's a- it's all of them! <gasps> We're not in white space anymore! And we're alone in here. Oh man, okay, I feel- I feel like something's gonna happen. So I'm- I'm gonna end it here. All right, y'all, that was part 18 of Amori. I apologize, there was a lot of backtracking, so I have no idea how long this episode is gonna be, but I think we left off in a great place. I am about to record another episode, I'm super psyched, but thank y'all so much for hanging out. I hope that you are enjoying watching me play Amori as much as I am enjoying it. As always, you can catch me outside of YouTube. Other ways, it'll show you in the, the outro here and in the description, there's all sorts of info for how you can hang out with me outside of YouTube, but I appreciate y'all so much. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>